Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video, we'll be talking about pneumonia. So, pneumonia is an inflammatory reaction in the alveoli and the interstitium of the lungs, and it's going to be caused by some form of infectious agent. So, some of the causes of pneumonia can be through the inhalation of certain contaminants which contain mycoplasma or viruses. It can be through the inhalation of oropharyngeal secretions which contain normal bacterial flora or gastric secretions or both. Or it can be from the systemic circulation. So we can classify pneumonia further so it can either be from the community or it can be acquired when the patient was in hospital. Pneumonia is also caused by certain infectious agents so they can be bacteria which are either gram positive or gram negative or it can be viral or atypical which is where the causative agent isn't what typically causes pneumonia. So when we're talking about community acquired pneumonia it's most commonly bacterial and it occurs when the body's defense mechanisms are compromised or when a very virulent microorganism bypasses the body's defense mechanisms. So once the organism is in the lungs, it's going to multiply and it's going to trigger a inflammatory response by the body. And this is where we have the symptoms of uh, pneumonia. So we have the alveolar air spaces, which are going to fill with exudate, and we have the inflammatory invasion of the alveolar septa. However, one thing we need to know is that a viral pneumonia doesn't cause an exudate. So people who are infected with viral pneumonia, they don't have a productive cough, whereas those with uh, other types of pneumonia, which are either bacterial or atypical, they'll have a cough which is productive. So some of the patients which are at risk are those who are elderly, those with a reduced gag reflex, immunocompromised patients, and those patients seriously ill and hospitalized. So the clinical symptoms that we're going to see from pneumonia, uh, the symptoms are going to vary based on how severe the infection is, the type of microorganism which is involved, and the age of the patient. So the patient is going to have some fever, chills, headaches, and they'll hear crackles or rails, which is what it's also known as, heard in the regions of the, in of the affected lungs. They're also going to have a cough which is productive, and we can see the affected areas when we're looking at a radiograph. So from the diagram on the right you can see here is the affected area which is showing up as more white and the patient will also present with wheezing. 